All right, grand finals time. Commentary's back now. It's me. I'm the TO of the tournament. And I, I don't have to TO anymore because this is the last set. We have Charlie the King versus Valadin. Valadin winning their set in winners, I believe. Uh, yeah, I believe they found winners. And Valadin coming out on top. I can't see. Coming out on top, which is great for him because um, Valadin has always struggled against Charlie. And he got, like, I think his first victory maybe ever against Charlie and Ultimate, like at the last hat or one of the very recent hats that they fought in. So to do it again, you know, that's got to be good, good for Valadin. He's figuring something out for sure. And, you know, Charlie, like right now, it's not like he's playing bad. Well, not, okay, not right now, but like this season. It's not like he's like struggling this season or anything. We have seen Charlie this season go off at Genesis, Smash Bros. of Church, several MSMs and hats. So Charlie's been on a fire season, and for Vladin to be able to take another set off him, that's super impressive. Anyway, let's see how this first stock is going. You know, very even percents here. Ooh, finds back here. No double jump. Yeah, that's, ooh, that was strong. That was strong. As soon as you're talking about having even stocks, Charlie finds that opening, sends him out of the stage with that nice back air. Ooh, try to freaking get a shine combo on him. One of the great things about Charlie the King is that he also has very uh, flashy stuff, too. If he can show it off, he will show it off. And he is not afraid to go for these crazy side Bs or up Bs or down B combos and setups whenever he can. Okay, has, Aladdin has him at the ledge. Oh, that was a super nice way. You know, didn't go for the backer right away. You know, dipped down a little bit to make Charlie feel a little bit safe. You know, and Charlie, you know, he doesn't want to stay up there just holding shield the entire time, so... He hesitated like a little bit, you know, and, and then Valadin just got that nice timing on that back air. Ooh, but a crazy combo, 92%. Ooh, okay, that almost could have been it. Can Valadin get something started of his own? It's a little harder for Lucina to get a combo like that. A lot more uh, reading is going to be involved with Lucina for her to get damage like that. Ooh, side B. Oh, wait, uh, yeah, side B. That's going to do it uh, uh, you know, off the top. That was super good. That, that move is so great just for not for, for both spiking and then like upward spiking as it, lo it looks that's what it looks like okay what's the line got parry some lasers go in oh he, he tried to like shield an attack but i grabbed lost that encounter there a little too slow on that f tilt well oh i like the okay yeah i like the Charlie's like recovery there, but Valadin was patient and he just reacted to it accordingly. Up out of shield, no punish. Probably didn't mean to do a dash type there since he wasn't even on the same like level of platform. Back air, stage bike, but not unteckable yet. So Charlie, we tech those. Has him on stage again. Valadin, ooh, try to go first shield breaker there. Kind of a get off me situation. Oh, all right. Last stock each, but Charlie with a huge percent lead. Nothing can, nothing Valadin can't bring back though. One good edge guard, maybe a counter edge guard, a couple hits here and there. Wall him out with that huge sword. Try to go for like a falling up air there. Oh, second of the ledge. Okay, Charlie tried to go for the F smash. Up B, that is gonna be a punish. Just the up, just the up air though, so Charlie's fine. Jumping around, Valadin's gotta be careful, right? So, Charlie, what, what's Charlie gonna do? Looking for that opening like a shark. Feeding. Ooh, wait, wait. Valadin. Valadin's getting some momentum on. The last stock. It's all about who takes this final stock. Okay, boat. Boat get up. No, no ledge trumping. Ooh, scary stuff. Tech? Ooh, okay. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't tech because, you know, uh, your options are limited when you tech in that situation. So, also just jump out entirely. Even percent, and you know, Charlie's stuck at the ledge now. One nair, two. Oh, dancing blade. No, no, just does the first part. Uh, Lucina's dancing blade can work too. Not as like reliable as Roy Crom's, but still, it can work out here and there. Ops not to there though. I don't blame him. That that dancing blade can betray you a lot from Lucina. Okay, I like I like the use of the shield breaker. Just just the waves. Even if it doesn't hit, it's like get off me. You don't want to be near me. Uh, he's going, okay, he was going for the release. Interesting, because, I mean, up throw wouldn't have killed forward throw, like, you know, wouldn't have sent him, like, that far anymore anyway. Ooh, up air, yeah, yeah, great way for the air dodge. Wow, Valadin bringing that back. That was pretty good. 
defeat me. I hope they don't like hear me. Neither of them have earphones or headphones. I don't want to be distracting to them. Guys, support my commentary at DreamHack Anaheim. It's going to happen. Quan Commentary 2020. I'm sorry, guys. I'm a little tired right now. It's been a long day of school and TOing stuff. And I have no commentary partner, which is very sad. Why doesn't anyone want to commentate this awesome grand finals? Game two, we are going to be going to town and city. Large area to work in. Charlie already getting rid of the double jump. Ooh, wow. Just so far from the stage already with 68%. That was incredible start. And it's still not stopping yet. Actually, it did stop. He got hit. But I mean, yeah, still a fantastic start. Glad is trying to, you know, trying to find his opening, trying to get his like start, you know, as well. Only gotten two stray hits, but nothing like started. Okay, good. Wait, you know, waited for Vladim to use an option first before just baiting it out and hitting him. That's that juggling. Oh no, that will happen sometimes, honestly. So Vladim losing his stock to a freaking side B back to the stage. You know, we, we've all been hit by those, like, once at least, right? You know, it, it happens from time to time. Especially when you're trying to, like, read something else. And then you just, you go, oh, you went for that option? Okay, cool, whatever. Oh, but dang, I mean, Charlie is not letting Vladim breed right now. Just grabbing him, tossing him back. Vladim's just trying to land, man. Oh, there one. Went for a dash attack. I feel like he might have been trying to attack, like, an air dodge away. Oh, man. Okay, parry into up B is not going to do it. That's bad for Vladin because you get that sick, like, you know, sick parry and then... Oh, up smash. Yeah, it was just, like, too far away. Up till catching the, you know, out of shield. Wow, that looked like it was almost it, too. Off, like, a dash attack. Dash attack. We'll kill off the top at a, you know, slightly high percent from here. Up throw? No, no, no. Up throw won't, won't do it yet. It's like... Martin Lucina up throw is a kill throw, <clears throat> but it's like not as strong as like people usually remember it to be, or like assume it is. Charlie got Vladin stuck on the ledge, going for an F tilt. Smart of Vladin to use a get up attack to just go through Charlie's attack. What about this time? Ooh, and they're in place. Will is going to catch the regular getup. Okay, jumping away. Okay, nice. Jumping and then just fading back. Managed to get out of that situation, but... Ooh, back throw off the top. Okay. Really high percent. Now, I mean... Charlie's looking for that one opening to get some combos started. Vladin, I mean, he has some catching up work to do. Is that the combo? Ooh, the combo... And then baiting out the up tilt to extend the string further. Actually, no. Vladin's turn. Ooh, Vladin's like, you know, he's getting a couple openings, but punishes aren't as, like, you know, it's not as rewarding as Charlie's openings. But hey, I mean, Vladin still did win that game one uh, when I really thought he was, you know, that was his game to lose. Oh, no double jump. I think that's it, yeah. Even if he didn't go for the Nair, I, I, Lucina would have not recovered or like barely, barely recovered. But yeah, Nair for safe measures. Also, Hat 100 guys, that's next week. You should come, but that's also like, don't expect anything special. Because we're definitely not doing anything special. That's not like a sarcastic thing, we're just... Man, we're all busy, man. JMX is moving how homes. I'm like trying to catch up on school semester work after Genesis, and I got other projects for two years. Game three. Uh, I almost called a stadium. Kalos. We have two Pokemon stages in this game. Okay. 
I personally, this has nothing to do with the match, I'm just talking about myself, because I like to hear myself talk. One of those commentators, sorry. Uh, Kalos, I don't like those platforms on the side. It just ruins me all the time. Okay, back to the match though. Ooh, edge guard? Okay, that was, that was uh, good on Charlie. Well, you know, when foxes and wolves and falcos are in that situation where they have to, you know, uh, fire fox or fire whatever up, uh, if you just fire straight up, which is the option that a lot of people usually expect first, then the timing to spike you becomes easier. I don't I don't think Valadin could have spiked him still in that position that they were in, but Charlie went for the diagonal recovery because then it mixes up the timing on when the um, space animal will go up, how how they go up and grab the ledge. Just a little thing there. Ooh, that read the freaking call out just charging S Smash right in front of his face. You love to see, it's super fun to see callouts like that, you know. Oh man, these uppies. Okay, platform, being able to shield on time. Oh man, but Charlie is just sharking him. Ooh, near down tilt. Dash tag, he's chasing him down. It's not, not letting him breathe out. I said it twice to set, but I mean, come on. He literally was just not letting him breathe. I'll stop saying that now. Yo, catching the jump with an up smash. Nice. That was like a freaking super nice looking call out. I don't know if that was like a Hail Mary or he really read that, but it looks sick either way. Okay. Ooh, he's going to catch him falling with the up there super high up in the ceiling. He's going to do it. Oh, shine combo. Hey, nifty 26. Actually, keep going. We're still going. Okay, that was a good 50% that started off with Shine. That was sick. Vladins. Um, let's see. Yeah, Vladin. He's like slowly catching up, but I mean, you know, every every game so far, he's been playing from behind. You, you, know, you don't want that, right? You don't want to have to like make the comeback. You want to be in the lead the whole time. But hey, that backer actually. You know, only 60% on him. This isn't too bad. Yeah, this is not bad at all. Vladin just has to play it safe, patiently, smart. Ooh, almost chases chase his rollback. I'm surprised that Nair did not hit. Don't you hate it when you're like, you have the right idea, but your spacing is not like you were like far away, but you were like too close or something to hit? I hate those moments. Like, what the heck, man? That shit hit. Okay, Dan Dancing Blade stuffing out Charlie's approach. Ooh, Charlie finding an opening with a run in there. Just kick him straight to the face. Oh, Valadin has to recover again in this position. No, he recovered. He upbeat too early, but I mean, Charlie, you know, uh, punishing with the grab. He probably wasn't expecting it either. Actually, what can you punish that with? I guess just dash attack or grab. Never mind. Edge guard? This is so scary for Charlie, because I mean, you know, one good edge guard, one good counter. Yeah, that dancing blade, you see the way, like, it he just kind of fell out. Yeah, it'll betray you. Lucina's dancing blade, ugh. Grab back throw. Oh, it looks like 162. Probably with one more, that might be it. So scary for Vladimir. How's he going to get down? Can't get up air, back air, can't get grabbed. Ooh, F tilt. Okay, you will live from the other side of the stage at least. Ooh, okay, okay. Good good reaction from Vladin. He knew that Tom Long was coming. Moved away just in time. No, he tried to... Um, that's going to be it. He probably tried to um, catch Charlie, like, running back. You know. But then Charlie just didn't place some shield. And then now Vladin's f tilt is just, like, this horribly spaced f tilt. 100% shield grab and just dead for it but I mean that was super close if Aladdin can you know play like that but like keep it like that from the start you know never have to like try and make that comeback from the first place yeah, that would be super good for him but of course I mean that's just that goes for anything yeah you always want to be like not trying to make a comeback you always want to be in the lead that's just obvious thing but yeah that's all it applies to Aladdin here though like right now, look at this. Charlie always just... That's a stock. Wow. Yeah, that was so perfect. Charlie, I mean, 
every single game, Charlie has been just starting out super insane. And again, well, I have to make that catch-up game. Aladdin. Oh man, just getting comboed again. Charlie. Just reading him. Oh, man, it's crazy. Charlie's combo game too. Jesus Christ. So, like, okay. So, when Aladdin's playing Lucina, like, Lucina doesn't have the craziest combo game, but, like, her thing is that. She's got this great neutral, you know? It's like, she's got that huge sword, and so easy. But then, like, if Charlie's winning the neutral with Wolf anyway, because, I mean, Wolf has a pretty dang good neutral, too. But, but then, like, Wolf has, like, a, I would say a much, now I wouldn't say easier, but, like, more guaranteed uh, combos and setups. It's just looking super rough right now. I mean, three stocks to one. Charlie just try to go for it all. Going for wall jumps. Okay. Ooh, okay. Jukes. We grabbed the ledge like twice, but I mean. I think, you know, when people re grab the ledge, uh, other people's instincts are usually to like. Well, for certain tiers of players, they're going to try to punish the. Uh, re oh, shoot. What the heck? Three stock. Wow. Jeez, man, Charlie, you need to come. Dang, bracket reset then. Okay, what was I saying? Something about. So when people regrab the ledge, most people's first instinct is to just attack their regrab. But sometimes they're not in the best position to do that, but they try to force it anyway, and the enemy ends up like getting up and then just like reversing that situation. Other players know that. And when they see that they're not in a position to 100% just punish that regrab, they'll instead try to punish like the getup option. People, when they regrab the ledge, they tend to panic and like roll getup. And then I feel like in that situation, I, I doubt like this isn't this probably isn't what happened. But my guess was that like uh, Aladdin was trying to like read that like getup option, but Charlie wasn't giving it to him because he's a smart player. And he had such a huge stock lead that he was just kind of playing around at the ledge, regrabbing it twice, and then just somehow got up. Anyway, we're all the way in the first uh, game of the bracket reset now. Aladdin off to a slightly better start. Ooh, just running underneath that laser, hitting with dash attack. Oh, but yeah, this is a super close game right now. It's hard to win. Bracket resets are super hard because, you know, fighting a player in grand finals, beating a player, a cow. Beating a player in that caliber, okay. I was just about to say that beating the person that's in grands twice, you know, that's no easy task because they're super good, obviously, right there in grands. And you gotta beat them twice. That's super hard. That goes without saying. It's super obvious. I wanted to point that out though, but um, doesn't really matter to Charlie. Taking that first stock again. Ooh, man. Okay. Space snares. Charlie just coming in with an attack from the ledge. This time off to jump. And mix up. You know, never do the same option twice. Okay. Uh, ooh, just try to go for a... Charlie, Charlie was looking for Vladin to, like, just kind of drift back. And that's usually like the safe option for Lucina, because like to punish that, you know, the opponent really has to commit to, you know, trying to punish that option for most characters at least. But uh, Vladin got away scot free there because he just jumped out, double jumped out, and he's dead. But Charlie, you know, still has the lead. Another shine combo coming in. That combo is actually like reliable. It seems. Air dodge read, no, but he got the air dodge read, but it was it was too high, surprisingly. He had to dip a little bit lower before sending out that up air. Jeez, man. Forward throw. What options do you have right there, man? Just, yeah, air dodging was probably the best. But, I mean, what? You have to watch out for so many moves if you're Valadin now. 
dash attacking grabs and back airs and airs. Oh man. Because they're, they're, they're either going to kill now or lead into some setup. There. Grab. Okay, okay. Manages to throw him off stage. Shields that does not get hit, but isn't able to punish it. Probably counter that if you are expecting it, but I mean, when you counter, that's super risky because obviously you're like committing so much when you do that. If you miss, you're probably dead and stuff. Okay, another back throw. See, if he countered right there and then just Charlie just grabbed the ledge, Charlie would have punished, but so yeah. That's why we'll add it. He's playing it safe because he's a smart player. No, that was up E, I feel like. Damn, that. Dang, dang Wolf Up E does not. Yeah, it had less lag than Aladdin thought it would. Also, Valadin and Charlie, if you guys are watching this VOD after this tournament is over, and you guys have to like sit through my commentary. I'm so sorry, I usually commentate like round one in pools matches, but I can't because obviously I'm tailing this tournament and this is like the only set I can commentate. Sorry. Three, two, one, go. If you're gonna post any of your your clips onto Twitter, just like don't put my commentary, put like some music or something. Just kidding, do whatever you want. All right. Okay. Vladin able to wall out Charlie. Gets him from one side of the stage to another with a wall of fares, jabs. Okay, but Charlie's going to do the same right back at him. What the heck was that? How did he... Wait, where did his... Okay, first off, when did Charlie rack up the percent to be able to do that? And that was like three or four moves that took him from the left side to the right side. The backer just ended his life. What? All right, number one in the season. Probably. Maybe. Possibly. Ooh, that back air. Kind of caught Charlie a little bit slipping a little. This is a pretty even game so far. I'm liking it. Hitting each other. They're both getting their, like, hits on. Ooh. Yo. Okay, okay. Good on, good on, uh, Vlad into air dodge, but, like, away from the platform. So he won't get connected with those. Actually, I mean, Charlie could have moved a little bit closer to the edge of the platform. Oh, getting hit by that back air is going to send Vlad and second stock out the window. Actually, there is no window here because they're already outside. So it's outside of the stage. Dang, uh, Vladin going deep for that. But Charlie, you know, saw the way that Vladin was drifting back. And then he, he knew it was coming, so he recovered high. Good awareness. You don't want to autopilot. That's like a situation of, you know, reacting and then, like, knowing what to do being on guard. That That's really important to smash. Ooh, what? That's it. Wow. Wow, he got the down air. And Vladin could have, you know, double jump up B. Charlie knowing that just hit him with that one extra nair. And that was it. Wow. That was an insane... I, I feel like all three stocks that Charlie took from that game were like clippable material. Especially that first one. I, I don't know what the heck happened there. All right, Vladin, um, switching to the Mario. I mean, yeah, I don't blame him. The Lucina hasn't really been working out. And you know what? Let's see if we can, like, just get some extra data or something at least. Try something different, you know. Can't, can't be doing the same thing, expecting the same results, right? But, of course, I mean, this is Charlie we're talking about. Charlie has had so much experience against this Mario over the years and all the Smash 4s and Ultimate. I'm pretty sure they fought in MSM too. I think Charlie won 3-2 I want to say. And if, you know, Zenyu hasn't been around that much. Like in Ultimate he's been like kind of MIA for the most part. Only appearing randomly here and there and then like losing randomly to Rockstar Ace. But um, when Zenyu's away there's also Master Mario. Another amazing player so Oh, he's got Mario practice for sure. But Zenyu and Master Mario, they ain't got nothing. Okay, I was about to, I was about to hype up a lot of Mario, but I can't do that when Charlie just takes his stock. But, but yo, okay, what you got, Vladdy? Let me see that Mario. Hit him with the up smash. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Chase him down. Yeah, chase him down with the Elsman. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We got we got Vladimir out here. 
All right. That, that was pretty nice. That was pretty nice. I mean, it's an even game with, with the Mario. So, hey. Parry for parry. Didn't, nothing happened, but always got to point it out because it looks cool. Okay. Ooh. Oh, shoot. Vel Charlie's just reading, like, every single option that Vlad is doing at the ledge right here. What the heck? 60%. Okay. Gets away here. Uh, what? Hey, you know what? Charlie had to read his ledge option like three or four times to get that 60% damage. Vladin, you know, he is Mario. He can get, if he can get one good combo started, he can make that 60% right back. Unless Charlie's going to end his life right here. No double jump. That was close. Ooh, yeah, doesn't get anything started there. Actually, get something started here. Not, I mean, that was uh, okay damage. Has him off stage. Oh, yeah, water him. That's good. That's good. Strats. That was a super nice recovery from uh, Charlie. It's hard to it's hard to punish that. Yo, Perry us smash. Yo, but why didn't in the lead with the Mario though? Yeah, we stand Luna out here. I believe that's a K-pop reference, by the way, not the SoCal Cloud player who spells it with the L U N A. I clarified with I clarified that with him like a couple of hats ago. Shoot. Okay. How much extra credit? Can okay, how much hits can Vladin get? Okay. I was going to say before he gets it, his new stock. Dang. Well, Vladin on his tournament stock right here. This could be the last set. Yo, platforms. Where did these platforms come from? Oh my goodness. Laddering with Wolf. I honestly feel like uh, Mario has like an easier time finishing, like finishing games. Honestly, in like intense situations, so I can still see like, you know, Charlie has a slight edge right now, but I can see Vladin winning this, well, especially with the fact that he had like the lead in the first two stocks. Uh, what can you do here, edge guard? Can, if you can like read the right option here, oh no, but get spot dot grab. Ooh, that was scary. If he moved a little bit forward, he would have been hit by that back air. Does he have a double jump? I'm not sure. Doesn't matter. He makes it back to the ledge. Charlie's just waiting there. Try to try to bait out a, um, I want to say, cautionary jump. What's that word when you get angsty? Oh, back air. Cool. That's not going to do it, though. Waters him. Charlie's going to go for the nice recovery from the bottom. Oh, it rolls behind him, making... Charlie want to roll away from the situation, but chasing him down with the up smash. Good job. Except he's shaking his head. He's like, what the? Hey, that's a nice Mario shirt that you have there, Aladdin. I love me some Super Mario Brothers on the NES. That is one of my favorite games. I'll stop. Hey, maybe Aladdin's Mario is a truth. He could just win this whole tournament now, you know? Reverse 3-0 with the Mario. But again, like I mentioned, Charlie does have an enormous amount of Mario games under his belt. Just beating Zenyu yesterday. You know, uh, Vladin's Mario, of course, being, since Vladin is a different player, it's probably different from Master Mario and Zenyu, and it might have uh, thrown Charlie off a little bit. So let's see if Charlie can get used to this game. I mean, off to, you know, a good start. Now that's a bad sign. If Charlie's off to a good start, and then Vladin has to start playing the comeback game. I mean, that hasn't been working out for Vladin except for like the very first game of the Grand Finals. Oh my goodness, F smash straight to the face. Dang. But you know what, Vladin, Vladin still got this. I mean, Mario got, Mario got comeback factors and it's not, it's not even that big of a deficit right now. If you can just, you know, finish the stock, just like hit an F smash or something. Oh, oh no, well, unless Charlie's just going for all that. Okay, good up E so that uh, Charlie isn't able to hit you with like a Nair. Probably what he was about to go for there. But yeah, chase him down. Okay, just kicks him straight in the face. Oh, I saw that turn around. L smash about to come out. But Charlie kicks him before. Oh, there's an L smash. Okay, 80% is, you know, deficit, but. I want to see the Mario combos. 
Yeah, yeah, hit me with that. Ooh, that down into that forward there doesn't get that sweet spot, though. It's okay, it's okay. 27 to start. Charlie, you know what? He's, he's going to play a little bit safe. You know, I haven't seen Blaster all grand finals. What the heck? Using it now, I bet I bet Vladin's a little thrown off at least. Suddenly seeing it. Or not, actually. Oh, oh, I don't think so. Ooh, just wait for that directional air dodge. Yo, he caught up. <laughs> he almost caught up in percent. Oh, he tried to go for another read there. Probably like a air dodge away, maybe. Yo, an F smash. It was an F smash. Wow, he's in the lead now. If, you know. Okay, as long as Vladin, you know, doesn't like rush these things, just gets his openings and just gets his combos again. I like that. Oh, okay. Nice F tilt catch. I like that, uh, you know, contrast that. Lucina and Mario can have because like I mentioned earlier that Lucina you know she, she, she'll win neutral like that's what people say you know is a thing she wins neutral for free but you know her combo is like combo game is like kind of whatever Mario on the other hand if you if you Mario catches you with like some up falling up air this is also his turn to stop by the way if you, Mario catches you with like a falling up air or down air or throws you up or something start you know getting some hefty damage on you but Charlie's not gonna let that happen. Charlie back in the lead again. Up smash, scoop. Oh man, almost punished that air dodge. I would have sent him to the right side. He probably would have lived. But doesn't matter because he survived. But you know, still off stage. Wolf on the ledge. Oh, just kicks him towards the right side. Charlie, one good, you know, one good read. Nair back there. Or F tilt. That's it. Charlie is going to take it. 3-1 in the Grand Finals reset. Good stuff to Charlie. And you know what? Good stuff to uh, Vladin as well. I mean, the Lucina and winners. And uh, it, it, it wasn't bad in Grands either. It's just Charlie just came back even harder. And that Mario from Vladin was popping off as well. But that's going to be it for Hollywood Action Tuesdays 99. I will see you guys next time. In Hollywood Action Tuesdays 100. Yeah, so do I. Hey, um, this is the end of the stream now.